You guys, you'll never guess where we are right now. We are in the parking lot of a Best Buy. <laughs> but we're going to Disneyland. Uh, but first, we gotta buy a camera. You may have noticed on our last video there was a pixel like over here somewhere in the video in, in the dark scene. So a dead pixel. Dead pixel. We gotta send out that camera for a repair. But the G7X, which is the camera we're using, they just came out with a new one. So we're gonna buy one and test it out in the park today. So we bought it. Did we make a good decision? We'll find out. Okay, so we've made it to Disneyland, but before we go into the park, uh, we gotta stop at World Disney because last time, as you know, she missed out on this Halloween, what was it? It's a Mickey Mouse. It's a pumpkin Mickey holiday backpack. We're hoping it is back in stock. So yes. we're gonna go to World Fingers Disney. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So we've been on the lookout for this lounge fly bag. Uh, they say it's gonna come back in stock in a few days. Just my luck. I need it. <laughs> I need it, I want it, I'm gonna have it. We're gonna come back, I'm gonna get it. So are you gonna buy one? Sure. Do it. I feel like the only one I really wouldn't want is the chair, so. The last. <laughs> Honey, I'm, I'm sorry. Three days later. So let's go see if we can find your bag. They have them. They got them. You gonna get it? Yes, of course. Does it feel super leathery? No, it feels like kind of like suede. Oh, cute. Wow, the focusing on this camera is not really working that well. You gonna get it? Yes. Let's get it. Hey, oh, Peter. it's Reza. Hey, funny <laughs> seeing you here. I got a gift for you. Uh, is it a MacBook Pro? Could it be? Is it an iPad? Wow, know. it could be an iPad. I don't know an Apple device of this size. Oh, it is a t-shirt. Oh, it's of the Apple campus. I'm not gonna open this up right now, but that is the spaceship. We have a dead pixel, so we got a new camera. This one does 4K, but there's uh, supposedly some problems with like, it's uh, focusing. I'm not sure we're gonna keep this camera. Focusing issues already. Focus, I'm not in focus. Heck yeah. People are gonna love this vlog. This is not focusing. So we're over in Disney California Adventure and uh, today we're going to check out some new Chinese food options they have over by the wharf. So it's called the Lucky Fortune Cookery and it used to be one of my favorite places to eat and they recently updated their menus and it actually looks pretty good. I'm not mad at it. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm skeptical because this is honestly, this used to be my favorite place in DCA to eat. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm a big uh, Chinese food person, but uh, it used to be what? You took some rice, you took a protein, you took some sauce. It was kind of like a Chipotle for Chinese food yeah. kind of thing. And now it's like it has a whole new menu. They have some teriyaki chicken served with vegetables and steamed rice. Spicy Sichuan chicken with the same thing. A vegan bami, me. Uh, and a beef bulgogi wrap and pork ramen. And they also have chicken wings with Korean style garlic, chili sauce, pot stickers, and uh, I guess ramen toppings cost $3.50 extra. That's kind of crazy. And they also have some specialty drinks over here. I will say this, this portion is actually a pretty big portion for a theme park. Uh, and usually when you read spicy at a theme park, it's usually not that spicy, so I'm not expecting it to be that spicy. Let's try it. It actually has a pretty good kick. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's not like... It's not like... Oh, wow, and it's... Uh, something's happening in my mouth right now. Oh. Yeah, I like it. 
here's the problem. I don't really, I'm not good at using chopsticks, and so. I got you a fork. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, you can't, I guess you can't use it for it. So you don't need to get me taking a sip of this on the camera. Yeah, well, you can cut it out. You're the editor. We're leaving that in. Pretty good. Pretty good? $15 ramen? Or whatever it is? It comes in a real bowl. That's why it's so expensive. And you got like the extra extras. Got the egg? You got the egg. Mushrooms. Is, is that $18 ramen? I haven't had the meat yet, but the broth is good. It's, I like my ramen spicier, but it's got a... Ooh, you got pot stickers? It's okay. It's an okay pot sticker. What's the verdict? I liked it a lot. I think it's getting a little chillier out, and this is like the perfect option for those like chilly Disneyland nights. Yeah. What about you? Did you like yours? As you can see, I did not like my meal at all. Yeah, he was licking the plate, by the way. I caught him. Like, I was not licking the plate. I got this Japanese mule. It's a Japanese whiskey, ginger beer, and simple syrup. And it's quite delicious. Very smooth. I think it was twelve fifty. I like I liked it. I do want to say that this uh, spicy Sichuan chicken it's really spicy. It, like it, it, my mouth is like on fire after eating this. But it's it's a lot more spicy than I would expect from a theme park. Like usually you go to Disney theme parks and I think everything feels like it's salty and like you know just very tame. And this is uh, a little bit more adventurous. So if you're adventurous, get the spicy Sichuan chicken. For me, it's a good like late night option. I wouldn't have this during the day to be too hot. It's not super filling. Do you agree? Do you think it's filling? Um, I can't decide it if it is or not. But I, I do want kind of want something else, so maybe not. Yeah. Oh, we should mention that the prices for the the previous stuff here was like ten dollar dishes, and now it's like fifteen dollar dishes. Yeah. So uh, they gotta pay for Star Wars Land somehow. There we go. May the force be with you. Oh. So it's a meal. Yeah. Wait, what? What did you get here? This was the. What's it called? The fries. Something the Euro fries. fries. Euro fries. But this is a meal. This isn't a side. Hold on, let me, let me try to get this in focus. This camera. Okay. Oh my god, so there's like Euro meat on top of fries with, was that tzatziki? And then some vegetables? Some olives. Cucumbers. Pita bread. Yum. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, the jalapenos in there. That is good. Look, one thumb and four cup. I guess my only complaint about this is there's not enough fries. Right? Like, there's a lot of toppings and stuff, but there's like very few actual fries. A am I wrong? And there are a few fries, but they do give you a whole thing of pita bread. So I think you get enough carbs, but. You should make like a, a pita sandwich, like put Ooh. everything in there. Yeah, I think they should. Leave the pita bread out and just add more fries. I disagree. I disagree. That you, can, you can make a sandwich with the pita bread. Hold on, you're not in focus. Yeah. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. You put every stuff, everything inside the pita bread, and then it's like a burrito. Like so. Yeah. By the way, they should have a Cali burrito somewhere in DCA. Ooh. Uh, why don't they? I'm, I'm gonna make a Greek. California burrito. But by, by the way, people outside of California might not know, but a Cali burrito is a burrito with French fries in it. It's awesome. Put it all in there. But there's no Cali themed restaurant. What else? What am I missing? I got some fries in there. So what are you putting in there? Well, I'm making the sandwich. Kutcher's got the right idea, I think. So there we go. Boom. Oh yeah, there's a couple of fries. What am I missing? Oh, some of the in there. By the way, Reza, I like your t-shirt. Thanks, man. All right, I need some more sauce, I think. I don't see a single french fry in there, Reza. Okay. Put another one on top. Okay, I'll put another one in yeah, there. Yeah, you need more french fries. To make all, everyone at home happy. <laughs> there there we, go. we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is my creation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So are we calling this the Cali Pita? What are we calling this? The Cali Greek Burrito. Yeah. Is it good? A little cross section for everyone. Hold on. Is it good? <laughs> it is good. It's very good. Yeah. I would offer someone a bite, but I don't think it's very appetizing <laughs> at this point. I'm really not happy with this camera. It's taking about 10 seconds to focus on people. I'm probably not in focus right now. This, this is disappointing because we have the G7X. That's the camera that we usually vlog with. And this is the new version, G7X Mark II. Yeah, is, what the heck is going on? Yeah. This was supposed to be better, I thought. Canon WTF. Canon. I'm totally not in focus. I'm not in focus either. Maybe it's better that way. Let me let me explain, guys. So, <laughs> our other camera has a dead pixel, not our dog, not but pixel. like an actual pixel in the screen that you can only see when it's dark. You probably saw it in the Haunted Mansion vlog. Um, and we got to send that camera to Canon, but that could take a month for them to, to fix. But we're also going to be doing all this haunted stuff. We're going to be doing like Halloween Horror Nights, Not Scary Farm. That's all at night. And this camera, or the G7X in general, isn't good, isn't great in low light. So we need to find a solution. Yeah, th this camera, the Mark III, is the upgrade from our camera, the Mark II. It's supposed to be better, but the audio focus... Like, look at how long it takes to focus on Reza here. Audio focus? Uh, auto focus? Did I say audio focus? I don't know. Let us know. I don't know, it's just not... This is not good. One of the cool things about this camera is it does 120 frames per second, so that's super slow motion. That's something that I wasn't able to do with my previous camera. You're able to do it with your iPhone, but like at night it just doesn't look good. So I'm trying to test that out while I have this, because I have a feeling I'm going to return this. Cue that B-roll. Last time we were here, Kitra got the chair. She didn't want the chair. I'm gonna get one for her, and hopefully, hopefully this time it's not gonna be the chair. Am I doing it right here? Yeah, open it. Okay. We gotta see if you got you got something cool. Chair or something new. Oh my god, what's the chair? Again? I hope it's something other than the chair. One of the ghosts. Does it feel like a chair? I'm not feeling it. You're not gonna feel it. I can't tell. It could be a chair. I hope. Fingers crossed. It's not a chair. What is it? Yay! It's one of the hitchhiking ghosts. It's Gus. Oh, I love him. She caught me trying to buy it, so I didn't get to properly surprise her. She was in the bathroom, but she's happy. I'm sorry. And she's, oh, I'm so she's, out, she's out of focus. Wow, I don't like this camera. Okay, so it's the next day. I have shaved. Uh, we were at the park. We're at the Main Street Electrical Parade, uh, which you saw some footage of, and the camera started overheating. And uh, we, we started to try to use this camera in the dark. Uh, I was trying to get something in focus at the Haunted Mansion, and it just was not going in focus. You can see some of the iPhone footage here, and that was much better. So that's footage from my iPhone, and uh, I don't know. I, so we're we're on our way to Best Buy. We're going to return. It's been less than 24 hours. Let me just tell you that it's literally we've had this camera for like 10 hours. Yeah. And now it's going back. And it's not just us, because I googled. I looked online, there's lots of videos, there's lots of uh, forum posts, people having the same uh, focusing issues, same uh, overheating issues. So uh, I, I love the Canon G7X Mark II. I, they just need to get their act together because this could be a good camera. But unfortunately, we're, we're, we're going to Best Buy to return it right now. So that brings us to the end of today's vlog. Uh, it was kind of a disaster, it was kind of a test. It was an experiment, if you will. 
Hopefully you enjoyed it. An experiment that went horribly, horribly wrong. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions on what kind of camera we should get for vlogging, uh, we're looking to replace the G7X Mark II. I'll leave them in the comments below. Uh, and if people like this content, they want to see more theme park coverage, what should they do? You should subscribe and ring that little bell. It lets us know that you're watching and it keeps you notified as well. Thanks for watching. And see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.